This is Dominic. Dominic works at a five-star restaurant called the Pixel Palace. There, some of video games' most popular characters come in to have a drink. Sometimes they share stories and even secrets. For as we all know, what the bartender hears is confidential, isn't it? So I'm sitting there tending bar when in walks a woman I've never seen before in my life named Chill. Now, I don't know what was on or what her problem was, but she just comes barging into the bar screaming and yelling at me. I tell her, I said, all right, calm down, calm down, chill out, take a breath, tell me what's going on. She says, I was abducted. And I said, abducted by who? And she says, I don't know, just some secret science organization or government thing, I don't know, that's running tests on people. And I'll take one look at her in her orange jumpsuit and I'll say, are you sure you're not just a janitor who's hit the happy sauce pretty hard? And she says, no, no, I'm telling the truth. It's some sort of sick, twisted experiment that they run on people. They're trying to test them for some reason. And I said, all right, well, what kind of test do they run on you? And she said, they give you this orange suit, they give you a gun, and the gun can shoot holes in the wall. And I said, well, lots of guns can do that. And she said, no, 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 this is the kind of gun that you shoot a hole in the wall and you come out the other side of the wall. I say, you sure you haven't been hitting the happy sauce? And she says, I am dead serious. Well, of course, I'm not believing a single word that she's saying, but just for the sake of interest, I also to keep going. And she says they run you through all sorts of weird experiments where you're supposed to shoot the gun, and, and little balls of electric shocks are flying by you. You're supposed to get them in these little other holes. It's all about holes. And there's this computer, this evil computer that keeps talking to me and calling me names. And I said, uh-huh evil computer that keeps calling you names, like the HAL 9000? And she says, no, no, it's like the HAL 9000, except it's a woman. I said, oh, of course. And I, of course, asked, well, why you? Why they pick you? She says, they try to pick people that nobody would miss, that have absolutely no impact on society. And I said, well, okay, well, what'd you do for a living? She said, I was a political radio talk show host. When I disappeared, nobody noticed it. In fact, nobody even asked. It was quite disconcerting, actually. And I said, well, okay, well, how'd you get out of there? And she said, well, the computer, you know, the one that's alive and has a woman's voice. I said, yeah. She said, it has different parts of its personality and it keeps these different parts of its personalities in like these giant metal testicles. And I said, you were fighting artificially intelligent metal testicles. And she said, yes. Is that so hard to believe? So I destroyed the metal testicles, she says, and I used the portal gun to get the hell out of there. And the whole lab explodes, big explosion. I said, then what happened? She said, well, I hightailed it to the nearest place I could find, which was here. Just tell somebody what was going on. And I said, all right, well, if this is all true, where's your gun? Where's your magic portal gun? She says, well, I lost it. And I said, how do you lose something like that? She said, well, I sort of shot the hole in a bridge and let it drop and yeah, I fell right into the middle of the river. And I said, well, why did you fire a hole in the bridge? And she says, I can't help it. Well, once you fire a hole in the ground and one in the ceiling, you drop the gun, it just keeps falling. And by God, it's entertaining to watch. It's the only thing that kept my sanity, that just dropping things down the hole and seeing it constantly fall. And she said, now there's this portal gun in the river that's doing, I don't know what kind of damage. Maybe if it shoots a hole in the water and the water will suck in and all the fish will go with it. And it'll keep on this endless loop. And we gotta call the police. We gotta call the police and let them all know. And I said, all right, calm down. Calm down. Get your breath. She took a few deep breaths. I gave her some water. She started to calm down. I said, look, you look hungry. Why don't I get you something? Here. Piece of cake on the house. She committed suicide right there. Pulled out a gun and blew her brains out. I've never seen anything like that. I don't even know where she got the gun. I don't know if she robbed somebody on the way over or what. And, you know, I feel bad. I, I, I don't know what was going on inside her head, but in all honesty, how do you think I'll feel? I mean, I offered her the cake. She committed suicide. I'll have to live with that for the rest of my life. I have no idea what I did. I never knew the phrase cake or death literally meant cake or death. She didn't even say anything. Didn't say what? Well, no, actually she did. She, she, she mumbled something right before she pulled the trigger. Sort of hard to remember, but I think something along the lines of 
the cake is alive? Why would the cake be alive? What, did she think the cake was trying to eat her? Was it trying to kill her family? Nutty as a fruitcake. I gotta be careful where I say that now, somebody might blow the brains out. No, oh, well, I don't care. I have bigger things to think about. For example, did you hear that introducing this new GPS called GLaDOS? It's supposed to be incredible! You know how a GPS never gets you where you're going, and sometimes you figure like it's alive and it's trying to send you in the wrong direction? No, no. GLaDOS tells you exactly where to go. And GLaDOS is gonna take all of us to where we need to be. I'm looking forward to that, because I'm bad with directions. Maybe that show woman could use GLaDOS. Yeah. That will give us some direction in life. Pardon the pun. You don't have to pardon it, actually. I think it's kind of clever. See a lot of strange things as a bartender. See a lot of strange things at the Pizza Palace. So, I'll see a lot of strange things as a bartender at the Pixel Palace. And that ain't no lie. Swear to it.